He just said it could be as big or small as you wanted. Shut the up. Oh, yeah, your room can be as big or as small as you want it. He freaking digs out the entire thing. And then says, oh, actually, you have to have your room this way. Shut up. Oh, you little bitch. Dude, this guy, I swear to God, this guy is getting on my nerves. <laughs> you know what? I'm tired of this guy. Oh, that's actually really smart. Oh. I'm laying down after like two hours. I guess I gotta watch this guy. I'm already too far into the video. Dark opera crafted with a dark chocolate shell and crispy cocoa shape. Just one mark of art in a box of golden calories is your chocolate. Share a box this Valentine's Day. Right out, no more of that stuff in the block. After that, the bitch. How does this even work? Do 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 I actually don't think he built it this high. Did he? Go ahead and keep the coordinates of this block. For me, it is fourteen, thirteen, twelve, seventy five. All right, for me, how many blocks are there? God, it's so laggy. I can't even freaking push any buttons. Alright. Alright. 
Okay, so this is 59.87. Oh, no freaking wonder. The freaking cord is wrapped around this bitch. Oh my god. No wonder my phone was in. Drop our balls all the way down to Y12 from Y34. So go ahead and go over to your elevator now and dig. Oh, wait. Oh. Wait, what the frick? What the frick he just did? jumping. It's, it's not letting me jump. Alright, so... I already freaking forgot. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What is it? 56, that's 70... 78. All right, so Sunday. How the frick am I supposed to do this? With ladders? I don't even know which way. Do you make ladders?
eyes big with. The fuck did he do? Down onto this block right here to get them down to a one hit kill. That means in this case we need to drop our mobs all the way down to Y12 from Y34. So go ahead and go over to your elevator now and dig all the way up to whatever your Y coordinate is that is 22 blocks above your landing block. So for me again, Y34. Y34 will be the base of our elevator. That means you'll probably actually need to dig a little past that Y coordinate so you actually have room for your mobs to move. I advise making this area at least See, like, actually go up the elevator and then kind of bounce around. Now go ahead and move however many blocks over and dig all the way back down to wherever you want your mob to land. So something like this here. That would be perfect. Now obviously, I'm in creative mode, so that makes this step a million times easier, but this can be done in survival with a little bit of patience. It might be useful to have some scaffolding on hand for this step, or you could even try activating your bubble column. Either would work. After taking out your elevator and your falling area, place one sign above your falling area. So Frick. I don't know where the freaking place is. I don't, I don't remember what it was. It was 59... I know it was 59 something. Why the frick are you down here? Seven. All right. Oh, so it's actually one more over. this oh shit I was like well, what is that what is this <laughs> what is this well I'm going to have to redo that Yes, sir. Just for now, I'm just gonna... How the frick is this... this man even do this?
I supposed to freaking break them? Oh my god, did I seriously just do the exact same thing again? Right. Bro, I have too much freaking... Booty itches. I swear to freaking God. This game is bullshit. Get the freak out of here, fucking bitch. You made the bubbles work. Shit, dude, I'm about to die. If you just work it correctly. Uh, be careful not to fall. If you're in survival, this 22 blocks could just about kill you. So, yeah, just really careful. Again, scaffolding might help quite a bit of this stuff. or just filling in things with building blocks and digging them out by hand. To finish things off inside of your farming room... What make did you do? Either after digging out your elevator and your falling area, place one sign above your falling area so water doesn't pour down into it. Now, to activate your elevator, you're going to need to place a single water source above your soul stand that is also above where your whole, I guess, moving over thing is. <laughs> like what I've done here. Go ahead and wait a little bit, and the bubbles should make their way all the way.
not working. Why isn't anything working? This is bullshit. I'm not fucking doing this shit anymore. Why isn't anything freaking working? Oh, and this video came out one year ago. Fucking of course. Of fucking course. Three months ago. Zach, look at that tax expert. Why do you need a tax expert? His advice is. Welcome back, everybody. It's I with I will play. This morning, I ran across a skeleton spawner in our hopelessly bedrock SMP subscriber realm, and I'm super excited to build it. So that's what we're going to do today. You can see right here. This is the outsides of it, and I can hear the skeletons. So I haven't even gotten into this yet. So I'm going to show you the whole entire process to set this up. It's super easy, and you don't hardly have to spend anything on it. Grab a few iron, a few sand, a couple water buckets, and some wood. And let's get into this. Let's go. So the first thing we're oh going to do is this kid's a fucking loser. I am so mad right now. Just watched a one year old video that doesn't even freaking work, and I had trouble on the freaking video the entire time. Why are there cows in my freaking sheep pen? Oh, and and it broke, and it broke. Of course it did. Can you like not hit me? This man's so trash that he can't even freaking hit me. Well, at least I can. this baby and show you what you need. If you look at the bottom middle of your screen. <sighs> this is so bullshit though.
Oh, I forgot that I had sand, like a decent amount of it. I'm so tired, I'm gonna go to bed right after this. Holy freaking shit, dog. Pizza roll. It's absolute bullshit. How much does it take to make a hopper? How do you make a hopper? A chest. Think we're rich? Dude, my freaking thing is lagged out. Like, this entire world is, like, broken or something. Because it is not seeming to work. All you're going to need are two buckets of water, three glass, one hopper, two chests, and a few torches. That's literally it. You'll probably want to bring a sword to kill skeletons with so you can get in here. Also a pickaxe so you can dig around and probably some food to stay alive. <laughs> but the first things is what you really need just to build this. It's super easy. Let's get into it. Let's break in. Let's go. Right. So this is definitely, you can hear it. And there is a lot of them in there. So let's just break out. Oh, look at this right behind the chest. They're gonna kill each other first. <laughs> we gotta wait for them to all kill each other now that they've seen one of us. They're all shooting each other. <laughs> That's hilarious. You can literally let them eliminate most of themselves. Once this they guy's a see us, freaking moron. They will literally kill each other. <laughs> we're gonna break out this block and then we're gonna run in there and throw some torches on the spotter itself. Let's go.
right, so we put torches all the way around this spawner. That's super important so that no more skeletons will spawn out of this. You know, on a spawner, what you want to make sure that you do is you always have a room that's nine by nine by nine. That's really important. That's the spawn radius of the spawner itself. We'll see when you come in these rooms that they're five wide one way, five long, and then they're four high typically. So that means three blocks above the spawner. We want to make this a nine 